Hi Pisces, welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice. This is Monica and I am doing a love reading for you. Um, whatever you're dealing with in your love life, the situation on your mind, focus on it for a little bit and we're going to try to pick it up, bring it into the reading and see what we get. So <clears throat> what I want to say with this is if you're happily involved might not be the best idea to watch tarot readings because you might if you if you look for stuff you'll find stuff to be worried about and these are general so you might be stressing yourself out over nothing so just something to keep in mind the ace of wands did fly out though with the five of wands so i feel like pisces someone's about to come your way suddenly out of the blue uh very decisively the fool at the bottom of the deck oh pisces what do you got going on let's see what's next in love for pisces what is next in love for pisces looking at the near future what's the situation they're dealing with what's going on actually i'm going to do a what don't you see coming let's do that pisces with this reading, obviously, something, something wants to come out that you do not see coming. What does Pisces don't see coming when it comes to their love life? What is going on? Now we have the Six of Wands, the Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. Listen, look at all these wands. Either you're dealing with the Fire Sign, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, Aries Energy, or someone who is completely determined to come get you this is like i'm gonna get my pisces i need to talk to pisces i need to tell him how i feel i also hear i need to make this right oh pisces what's going on what is coming up for pisces in love life five of cups six of cups okay don't come for me for some of you with the make it right situation that i heard this could be someone from your past that broke your heart Okay, you might have had to, you might have gone through depression because of this person when they left and the way they left and what they did, or they didn't give you a choice but to leave. Um, I feel like they could be trying to come back to prove themselves to you somehow. Just be careful with that. We'll see if it pops up back up in the reading. If it does, I'll try to clarify if anything's actually changed or what their intentions are. Um, but for others of you, I just get a sense of a realignment. You might be leaving something unexpectedly uh, somehow, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then, yeah, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups. You might be leaving a relationship and starting a different one, potentially with a friend or someone who's around you in some capacity. All right, let me, just, let me pull the cards and then tell me. What is going on in the near future for Pisces in their love life? What don't they see coming? Okay, so I'm going to pull the cards, do a Celtic cross. But Pisces, I was like, I was all right in terms of energy. But I just got all fired up all of a sudden. I feel like I'm picking up on this person's energy. They could be a fire sign or they have a lot of fire in their chart. Or it, regardless of their sign, they're just very determined, very fired up to come get you that's the, that's what i'm that's what i'm picking up on that's the only thing i'm hearing i need to go get pisces i need to get my pisces queen of swords at the bottom of the deck gemini libra aquarius energy for some of you you could be dealing with a breakup or you're recovering from a breakup or you're you've put someone on, on ultimatum current situation we have the three of cups you could if you did leave something i feel like you're happy about it it wasn't an easy decision, but I feel like whoever you were dealing with left you no choice. It could be third party situations. Um, I hear newly single. For those of you who are newly single, you have options. Uh, people want to date you, but you're still kind of defensive with the nine of wands. Understandably so. Take your time to heal, to recover. But I also see, again, a, a reunion of sorts that you're very defensive against. Hmm. In the foundation, the Six of Pentacles. It's about balance. It's about healthy give and take. Again, someone wanting to do the right thing or someone wanting to make things right with you. If someone exhausted your patience somehow, either they were keeping you out as a friend or they were intentionally keeping things platonic even though they knew you had feelings or... Um, 
they were saying, I need more time, I need more time, I'll get my stuff together, whatever, and they never did. You withdrew from that person. You put your foot down, you're over it, you said, never mind, don't hurt yourself, I'm over it. That could be them now being like, oh my God, hold on, no, I did too much, I went too far. I'm about to lose Pisces. Pisces have stopped giving to me. Because you were gen very generous with this person and that could just be your time or other uh, resources. You don't believe this person anymore, okay? I feel like that's what's gotten them all fired up. Yeah, see, justice in the recent past. You made a decision. I'm not doing this. I don't want to be just friends. I told you that. So you t you saying you don't know how you feel about it. You don't know if you're ready. You don't know. Fine, then. You're not ready. Don't worry about it. Never mind. You got all fired up as well. On the mind judgment, you're going to have a big decision to make. I feel like you gave someone a wake-up call, Pisces. You gave someone a wake-up call by turning cold. And this could be as a result of a breakup, a separation. But I just get this feeling of someone just being on the fence with you for too long. Or someone taking too long to get out of something to come your way. Or someone taking too long to make things right with you. However that resonates with you. Okay? And you said recently, you just completely went cold on this person. Either stop talking to them, stop showing emotion. If you're not, you know, if it's not a case of, all right, I'm never going to talk to you again. Never, you're never going to see me again. But you stop showing emotion at all, right? You're like, you want to be friends? I don't need another friend. I'll treat you as an acquaintance, right? And you did. And this person had a huge wake-up call. And they're coming your way. The near future, the world, speaking of. And again, this energy of coming back around, trying again. Hold on, Pisces, I want to do it right this time. Let's start over. Okay, let's finish this time or this cycle of uncertainty and doubt and back and forth and whatever. I feel like someone grew up a little bit. And they're like, can we do this again, please? Can I, I want to do it right this time. I'll do it right this time. A trip could be significant. Someone could be literally traveling to see you or as you travel, you run into them or something. Could also be some sort of event with the world, some sort of party gathering. They're going to be there. You're going to be there and they're going to try to pull you aside to talk to you. How you see yourself? We have the three of pentacles. I feel like you just withdrew from this whole thing. You see, again, I don't have any cup cards yet on the table. That tells me that you took your emotion out of a situation. Okay. And you withdrew, you see, you were trying to get to the six of pentacles with this person. You were putting in your three pentacles. They were not putting in theirs. That's in the foundation. So what, what happened is you withdrew your three of pentacles and you started focusing on yourself, working on yourself, giving to yourself. Okay. In your environment, <laughs> here they are, the emperor. They, they are showing up as the emperor. I'll give them that. The emperor with judgment with the world with justice tells me that this person has grown up okay for lack of a better phrase um this person has learned some very valuable lessons some very important lessons as a result of how they treated you mistreated you or just didn't take you seriously okay if it's not someone that intentionally was playing games or um because so far i'm not seeing like ill intent from this person and I'm not seeing anyone cocky or anyone you know playing the field and it could just be I don't know they didn't take you seriously somehow I don't know what that means okay but you'll you'll know but here they come again the world yeah they want to bring you something they will bring you something for some of you this person's a mu musician or they have a hobby they they play an instrument or they sing for others of you, this is someone in the military or this is someone in a position of power in their job or who has their own business. They could have kids. You could have kids together, right? In your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Cups. You see how you take, you just, you've just stopped feeling anything about this whole situation. I feel like they exasperated you. And the outcome though, we have the Nine of Cups. You see in the Eight of Cups in this deck, I love it when I see why they're asking me to use certain decks for certain readings. In this deck, the Eight of Cups doesn't have their back turned completely. It's like 98% done, right? 
and the moon in the background there, right? 98% full and released. Something's gonna happen around this next full moon that is happening literally in two days from whenever I'm from when I'm recording this. But this is where last chance, man. Last flipping chance. I'm seeing a very serious conversation. And they're like, whatever you say, Pisces, and they mean it. They're not just saying it. They're like, whatever you say, whatever terms you, I agree to anything, like whatever. You, you just ask, I'll do it, okay? Because this is someone who now got their stuff together. And I get, again, a sense of um, like they kept you as a friend. Um, they didn't exit a relationship right you know those situations where we both know there's feelings but we don't talk about it and because then that would mean doing something about it and I'm in something else or, or you're in something else and that's not gonna happen so let's just not talk about it and pretend like we're just friends for some of you that's the situation and you got sick of it for others of you um, they kept telling you as soon as I'm out of this thing, I will date you, Pisces. I want to date you. I want to be with you. You're so great. You're so awesome. And then you're like, okay, so what, what are you doing about it then? Well, this happened. That happened. There was always delays. There was always this. There was always that. And you, you just said, you know what? Never mind. Never mind then. I'm, no. I'm not giving to this anymore because I'm the only one giving. Or you're not matching what I'm giving. And that's not good enough. And I'm sorry. It is what it is. Queen of Swords, judgment. You're like, emotion out of it? If I took my emotion out of it, if I took how I feel about you out of it, this isn't good enough for me. Sorry. Done. That's that's where you were. Okay? That's where you were. And I feel like this person had a very rude awakening. You treated them differently. You could have seen them once after this. Either you made a decision and didn't tell them, or you made the decision and you told them, listen, you want to be just friends? We're just going to be friends. Um, or I don't need another friend. I can treat you as an acquaintance. But yeah, sure, whatever. You know what I mean? Or you put them on notice. Or you just told them you're done. Or you just didn't say anything. And the next time you saw them and the next time they saw you, you just were cold. Okay? And that doesn't mean like bitter or mean or angry unemotional is what i mean you weren't angry with them you weren't mad at them you didn't look at them funny you didn't but you didn't smile you weren't warm like you usually are okay you didn't uh reciprocate you didn't participate in the conversation like you would usually do you didn't go like the back and forth with jokes or with sharing histories or sharing funny stories or you, you didn't do any of that they found themselves initiating more they found themselves trying to get you to talk more and they're like what the hell is happening Pisces is withdrawing Pisces is not with it anymore you might have even told them that you have a date or you're getting back out there and it really put their back up it, it really it gave him a shock, Pisces. Because I don't know if this is someone who thought you were just not bothered about waiting or you were okay with them just showing you affection as a friend, kind of, right? Or some sort of situationship. And they thought that was enough. I don't know. I get the sense of they didn't really, they didn't really take things seriously somehow. So you said, all right, never mind. Depending on how close you are with them and what type of relationship you had or interaction or dynamic, you might have told them all of this or you just didn't say anything. They just noticed a very sharp left turn in your openness towards them and you expressing emotion towards them as in you didn't at all. If it's a situation where, you know, you would kind of flirt a little bit innocently, had a little bit of banter, you didn't do any of that. 
and they thought well, something's a little off here I'm not sure what and then when they saw themselves that they were trying to initiate conversation and they were trying to get you to talk and they were trying to get you to reciprocate participate and with the nine of wands you were like single word sentences sure uh-huh cool that's nice they're like oh what is happening what is happening or this is someone who might have seen you out on a date or who might have seen you out and about having fun enjoying yourself or this is someone who saw other people really checking you out I don't think you're aware of this but if you were at some sort of gathering or party or event of some sort and you were out there living life and not being bothered about anything other people were looking at you other people were like whoa who's that and this person saw that and they're like oh 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 wait yeah Pisces is hot Pisces is awesome oh my god look at that person going up to talk to Pisces oh my god look at that person trying to flirt with Pisces oh and they got I feel like they got jealous and they surprised themselves with that this could be for some of you someone who genuinely thought you're just friends they don't look at you that way they don't feel about you like that they're not you know they could even be in a different relationship and you're just friends right but I feel like it's something they had to tell themselves and then they find themselves being jealous because someone's flirting with you and they're like what the hell is this now what fresh hell is this that I am feeling and then it's like oh my god judgment aha moment I have feelings for Pisces and now Pisces is walking away from me because I was an idiot and didn't see it or didn't do right by them somehow right and now they're in like go-getter mode. I need to make this right with Pisces. I need to get Pisces. I need to tell Pisces how I feel. And the Nine of Cups is that overflowing, right? If I see the Ace of Cups, I'll start laughing because the, uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting, like the overflowing, the doing too much now. And it's not in a gaslighting type of way or a love bombing type of way or whatever the hell it's called these days. It's genuine like they are they are realizing how they feel about you at the same time that they're talking about how they feel about you oh Pisces yeah so I'm seeing like a few different scenarios so yeah for some of you someone didn't take you seriously somehow you told them that you had feelings or you asked them out and they didn't take you seriously they thought you were joking okay Pisces is cool, yeah, made a joke, asked me out, but I don't think they meant it. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with this person. Like, why, why? Why would someone ask you out if they, who would joke like that, you know? Um, but that's what they thought. Um, for others of you, they thought that you're this generous with everyone. And so you're like, I, I feel like they once wondered, like, I wonder if Pisces likes me and that's why they do this for me. But then they told themselves, nah, they're, they're probably being nice and I'm just overthinking it. Pisces doesn't like me like that. Calm down. And then they saw you around other people somehow. And how you treated other people and they saw that you treated them very differently. Like previously to this, right? You were very generous to them and you're not like this with everyone else. You treated them, them, treated them special in a special way. Um, or they saw other people checking you out and they, they surprised themselves by feeling jealous. Like, why am I feeling jealous? Well, there's only one reason. I want Pisces. Oh my God, the emperor, look. Again, and I'm getting chills. Pisces, this is someone who got their stuff together, okay? I'm getting excited <laughs> like I'll put the Emperor back but I'm getting excited because this is someone on your level this is someone good for you six of Pentacles justice you recognize that you recognize what this is or what it could be there are they, they took a longer time to get there so long in fact that you 98% have your back turned to this whole thing which is why now they have to do too much to even it out, to balance it out, and then you can start fresh, right? To make it right, to make it up to you. 
Oh, Pisces. Let's clarify for Pisces. Let's clarify this for Pisces. But this is like seven of wands. We saw the seven of wands as well with the fool. Again, you saw these cards in the pre-shuffle in this other deck. You're like, no, Pisces, you're not going anywhere. Let me talk to you, Pisces. Let me talk to you. Come over here. Let me talk to you. Like, I see someone who literally just comes, grabs, grabs your hand, pulls you aside. Pisces, please, let's talk. I need to talk to you. So I need to tell you something. You know, like, what is happening? Like, since when do you grab my hands like that? What? I feel like other people are going to be surprised. Because I, I get, like, you see this person around other people, or you see this person when you go to gatherings or events or some sort of club or some sort of, um, like, mutual venture. I don't know. Oh, Pisces, you got this person. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. If this is someone, Justice, who is in something else because of money, security, um, children, family pressures, there is a breakup. There is a breakup happening, okay? Or a divorce. And that's why they're dying to tell you i made it right pisces i made it right i can give you my invited attention now i can make it official with you now pisces we can start dating now pisces i did the right thing i did the right thing i get someone that's that's what i hear so let's clarify for pisces because this is a little hilarious oh man king of swords again at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius and it would make sense, you know, because someone thought you were kidding. And I get that, like, Gemini vibe. I know a few Geminis. I'm friends with a few Geminis. And they do take conversations about feelings. They take them as a joke. I don't know. I think they just, they don't know how to handle it. Or they just don't have that kind of depth right away of emotion to understand what you're trying to say. Or because they're kidding all the time, they think you're kidding all the time. But that's kind of for some of you, right? Let's clarify for Pisces, please. What is this in the near future? Three cups, three swords. Yep, this is where you are. F this, <laughs> you're so over it. 98%, you're like, F this, I, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not gonna be a third party. I'm also not gonna be an option. Like if you have to think about it this hard as to whether or not you wanna date me or whether or not you want to go to the next level with me, Never mind. Don't hurt yourself. L let it go. Let it go. Leave it. It's fine. Never mind. Queen of Swords, man. I'm telling you, this person. Ooh. Nine of Wands in the challenge. The Fool. Yeah. Someone just kind of... They, they were on the fence for too long. They stayed on the fence. They lived on the freaking fence. Like, for... I don't know if it was fear, if it was hesitation, doubt, lack of confidence, or again, they didn't take you seriously. I feel like this is someone who told themselves... Like I say, oh, Pisces isn't treating me any different than anyone else. Pisces isn't treating me in, in a special way. I think Pisces, I thought Pisces liked me and that's why they treated me this way, but I think I'm just being stupid. Pisces is just being nice and I'm just being crazy. But they never actually asked you. Do you know what I mean? They never actually had a conversation. This could be someone who's a bit younger than you or just emotionally not as mature as you are, regardless of age because they never actually asked you. They didn't have the confidence or whatever it is to ask you, Pisces, are you this way with everyone else? Why are you doing this for me? Why are you always there for me? Why are you so amazing to me? Why are you so giving with me? Are you like this with everyone else? I'm just curious. They never asked you. They never took that chance. They never initiated that conversation. They talk themselves out of it a lot of times, I can tell you that. Six of Pentacles in the foundation, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this is someone who's in a different relationship because of money, because of security, because of status, family pressures. But it was an obligation. They didn't have any feelings there, they weren't fulfilled. It was literally just going through the motions and it was an obligation, but they were in denial about it. They were in denial about it. 
Which is why when they find themselves being jealous over you or someone else talking to you and flirting with you or the possibility of someone else dating you, it surprises them because they genuinely thought, no, I'm happy where I am. I'm good where I am. Everything's great. And then all of a sudden they're jealous because someone's flirting with you. So they had to go, what the hell is that then? If I'm so happy, if I feel like nothing's missing, what do I care if Pisces goes off and dates someone? They, they just had a very rude awakening. Justice in the recent past, strength. Someone finally made up their mind, got off the freaking fence, broke up with who they needed to break up with, filed for divorce, told someone to stay away, put someone in their place, made things right with the justice card. I also see a situation where someone kept dealing with their ex and saying, no, we're just friends, there's nothing there, and you were telling them, listen, your ex is after you, like your, or your ex is sabotaging you moving on. And they're like, that's not, I don't think that's what's going on, I don't think that's what they're doing. And they had a rude awakening that their ex was exactly doing just that, sabotaging whatever they could have with you, by always showing up, by always being involved, putting questions in this person's head, and they had a moment where it dawned on them that, hold on, Pisces was right, or whoever it is that were telling them this, this person's trying to sabotage me, or this isn't right, this isn't healthy, or this isn't fair to Pisces that I keep dealing with my ex. How would I feel if Pisces did that to me, right? Could be that situation as well. So someone found the strength and the courage to make things right and to put things in their place, to make things as they should be with justice judgment on the mind the three of pentacles i feel like it has to do definitely third party situation vibes here with all the threes okay where someone was in something else they told themselves they were perfectly happy and pisces is just a friend you as the pisces knew that was bs and this person was in denial you may have tried to talk to him about it they just dis disregarded it Nine of Wands, they were defensive about it, right? And then all of a sudden, they don't feel right with you not being as giving with them, to them, with you not being so emotional. They miss your emotional support. They miss you expressing emotion to them. They miss you expressing, just, you know, being warmed, warm to them. Because this is like, you know the type of situation where you do everything together? It's almost, it's almost as if you're a couple, but you don't kiss and you don't hold hands and you don't call yourselves a couple. That person thought that this is just a friendship. And you were like, I'm giving you time to realize what this is. And so when you took it away and you just showed up as a friend, they were like, wait, this is different. I want what, what we had before. What was that? And you're like, no, if you want that, you're going to have to be in a relationship with me and stop the BS. Call it what it is and no problem. But we're not doing this where I'm basically your boyfriend or your girlfriend, but not in theory, you know, not officially. We don't say that. We don't, you know what I mean? Or we don't do certain things and that makes us just friends. That's not, that's not right. That's not true. That level of depth, that level of emotional depth is not a friendship hate to have to tell you you might have had this conversation with them or this is just what they realized because you withdrew you pulled away for some of you this was someone who was afraid of starting over if they just got out of something they were afraid of starting something else because they knew it could get serious and they weren't sure they were ready for it. They might have to told you that. They may not have. Maybe they didn't know how to phrase that. They kept telling you they need more time to heal. But now the, the thought of you leaving or the thought of you being starting something with someone else scares them more than the thought of rebuilding and what if it goes wrong again and what if, you know what I mean? So that's the clarity that they had. F it, I don't care. I need to, I need to do this with Pisces. I, I need to know. 
I can't, I can't let this be a missed opportunity. This will be the thing I regret in my life. This will be my one regret. I know that now. I'm very clear. If I let Pisces get away, this will be the biggest regret of my life. This person, that's how they feel. The world in the near future. I have full on chills, Pisces. Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Wands again. There's a trip. I don't know if you're going somewhere or they're going somewhere because you have distance. Three of Wands in the world. And I feel like they miss you. Okay, and that could be the clarity that they're getting. When they don't see you for a week or two, they really, really miss you. And they start reminiscing and they start thinking about you and they think about you every day and every night. And that could be like their, their epiphany. Like, oh my God, why am I thinking about Pisces so much? Why do I miss Pisces like this? Oh, wait, I, I must have feelings for Pisces. Duh, duh. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them. I genuinely, I don't get like someone playing games. I just get someone who just had their head up, head up their behind and just didn't see what was right in front of them till it almost left right but there's going to be communication from a distance communication online the the distance i'm perceiving could also be this emotional distance that you have placed between the two of you because of the nine of wands someone could want to talk to you about it now someone could want to open up now that's that conversation that i'm seeing Okay, because the nine of wands is an energy that doesn't give up. They don't want to give up. They don't want to lose this. They don't want to drop this. So this could be that I'm just getting someone who's very worked up. They could be shaking by the time they come talk to you. And you're like, are you okay? Like, what is happening? Because you're chill, right? Like, you're mostly done, you're mostly over it. <laughs> so you're fine. But by the time they get to you, after some sort of distance, which again could be actual distance or this, this emotional distance that they're perceiving that you have placed b b with this, these boundaries that you've put up, right? Or this detachment, this wall that you've put up that you, they have never seen this wall from you, okay? They could be literally shaking by the time they get to talk to you. And they're going to stumble across their, like over their words, over their own words. They could be literally stumbling. Um... I get like they're they're just so they're trying to say so much all all at the same time. They jumble up the words, they miss words, they and you're like, what is happening? Like are you high? Did you drink something? What are you on something? What is wrong with you? Because you've never seen this person this worked up. This is like desperation. Nine of Wands. This is desperation. I'm determined to make this happen, but if it doesn't happen, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I can't even think about it if it doesn't happen, if Pisces doesn't hear me out, if Pisces doesn't give me a chance, if Pisces doesn't give me a chance to do it properly. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles and how you see yourself. Here's the Ace of Cups. <laughs> There's a lot of emotion here, which you recognize from day one. But this is where you are being a lot more practical about your feelings. You're treating your giving nature and your loving nature as a resource and you're practical about it. If I am offering it to you and you don't know what to do with it and you don't know how to reciprocate and match it, I will simply withdraw it. No problem. Okay? But there are, there is still a lot of love here, Pisces. I'm not going to lie to you. The Emperor and the Environment. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who grew up a little bit okay or a lot in a very short space of time if that's even a phrase page of cups and the knight of swords yeah you see this is exactly what i mean this is someone who is a page kind of innocent kind of naive kind of gullible kind of just out there catching butterflies and fairies pisces doesn't really like me they're like this with everyone i'm just being stupid right or completely oblivious to their own feelings i'd see it i see it i don't know why it could be just immaturity or it could like emotional immaturity or it could be that they were focused on other things in their life 
rather than emotion. So they didn't really know how to, they weren't in the mindset to recognize emotional things. I don't know how to put it. But now they are, and with the Knight of Swords, they're coming to get you Pisces, hell or high water. Come hell or high water, okay? With the Emperor, especially. Eight of Cups in Hopes and Fears. Six of Swords. And Queen of Cups. You're a little you're a little on the fence about this despite your feelings because it's a case of i don't know now i don't know if i still want this because you went through a lot dealing with this person because you understood what was there and so you understood and experienced the depth of emotion that was there with all the highs and all the lows and all the frustration you have gone on several roller coasters in dealing with this person they are now just now starting okay they're now just now getting to the amusement park you've been on all the rides with them right because of them ups and downs and lows and highs and oh my god yeah i give up i can't but then okay let's try again let me give them more time let me give him more this let me try to explain it to them in this way let me try to show it to them in this way no never mind i give up i want to be done with this but then you're still not because you can't you have been on all the rides they just they just now got to the amusement park okay so that's the difference in level here so now you have a decision to make as to can you take a breath try to forget what happened up to this point and treat this as something new based on the level you're both at now because at least you're both close to in the same place right nine of cups in the outcome we have the chariot the Hierophant and the Two of Cups, Pisces. What in the world? What? <laughs> what is happening? Look at it. Look at it. And again, we have this determination to come together, to work together, to go from here, right? Let's join forces here and let's go from here. Let's start from here. The Hierophant with the Two of Cups, this can be the person you end up marrying. This can be the person you end up settling down with having a family with, having whatever your ideal relationship is, that's that's what you could have with this person. That's what you always recognized and what you've always, you were always aware of. It just took them a long time to see it. Yes, Harvey. He's just kicking the, you know what, out of a toy bird, if you hear that. It's not an actual bird. There's no cruelty in this house. But Pisces, this is going to grow fast. It's going to get real deep real fast. It already is deep. It only hit them how deep it is already. So it's going to grow, develop very fast. Like within a year, you'll be living with this person or even talking about marriage or even talking about children. Or whatever it is that a serious long-term relationship looks like to you. Pisces, I don't even know. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. King of Swords, the Hermit, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, look, they're all up in their head. Justice, again. Because now they're left out. They're feeling left out. Now they're realizing what kind of opportunity they may have missed. And they are stressing Pisces. I also get an obstacle in the way where they can't just turn up at your door. So they could be traveling or you could be traveling in the near future. So it's almost like they have all these epiphanies, but they can't actually get to come to see you when they want to. So they just have to hope and pray, nine of swords. They're, it's keeping them up at night. I hope Pisces is still there by the time I get back. I hope Pisces is still there by the time I get back. I, I hope Pisces is still talking to me, will still take my calls, will still see me. This person is not going to get any sleep on this trip, whatever, wherever they're going. I'm telling you now, they're not going to get any sleep. They're going to be one anxious furball, which is why by the time they get to you, they're shaking. It'll be lack of sleep. <laughs> It'll be anxiety, excitement, determination, and desperation all balled up into one. Pisces, I don't even know what the hell this is, man, but look at it. 
huh okay um, I'm gonna leave it there it's a longer reading longer than what I thought would be I just thought I'll just do a short quick mm-hmm okay yeah I'm not in charge of what comes out but Pisces tell me what this is because this is some sort of what in the world once in a lifetime soap opera type whirlwind what jeez someone's finally getting it Pisces though and I'm not they're not playing games okay now this isn't if this is someone from your past that played games with you intentionally this is not that person Pisces I want you to be careful if someone has already shown you their true colors this is not that person this is not that reading okay I let me know in the comments if you want me to do a reading in terms of like looking at if someone's coming back from the past if they've changed or not have they changed let me know okay let me know in the comments if you want that reading and if enough people comment and tell me that you want it I'll do it but this is someone who genuinely did not see was not aware of their own feelings of what you were offering them of what you were they didn't see it they didn't take it seriously somehow they thought you were kidding or they thought you do this with everyone there's nothing really special here and then it just dawned on them when you pulled away when they saw other people after you when they saw you out with someone that oh my god I have feelings for Pisces and they are gonna come for you okay because they do not want to miss out on this it finally realized they finally realized what you were offering them all along what it means what it could be and the fact that they almost missed out on it terrifies them okay this person had to grow up real fast and they did they really did Pisces I don't know what else to tell you so I'll leave it there because I don't even know what else to say I'm a little I'm scratching my head right now I'm like okay what okay okay but um be prepared man I, I don't know like this isn't far off this isn't far off this is within a month or so that this is gonna be happening okay so you are gonna have to let me know what this is who this is when it happens for some of you it's already happening or it already happened in which case let us know but wowza all right I'm gonna leave it there I hope it resonates with you I hope it helps you if this is your situation I'm gonna go sit down have a drink after this cuz okay my head is spinning my head is spinning I'm gonna take a pause and then do a work reading but um yeah Pisces um yeah I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this one let me know okay and I'll do the same I'll keep my eyes peeled I can kind of see what this is in my life I'm not gonna lie with lie to you Pisces I can kind of see <laughs> what this is and so I'm like okay if you say so but yeah let's uh, share feedback leave it there have a great one I'll see you in the next video bye for now